And police are looking for two men wanted in an attempted armed robbery of a convenience store. Jennifer, terrifying moments for the store clerk, but thanks to her quick thinking, they ended up running away. Yeah, they certainly did, and police say they got out of there empty-handed. Thankfully, that clerk was not hurt, but there's a lot of fear that these gunmen may come back. He spoke to us in the condition we keep him anonymous. Philly police providing this surveillance video from last Wednesday, a few minutes before 7 p.m. that captures two men walking into New 43rd Street Supermarket in West Philly, one immediately raising a handgun. It answered people, the criminal, the goon. And the other pulling out a shotgun from the black trash bag. You money, money. The person working behind the counter only had seconds to react after the robbers stormed in and he chose to do this. The clerk, who the gunmen keep pointing their weapons at behind the counter, didn't want to show his face but shares what he believes spooked the criminals out the door. Doing a parrot, uh, a parrot. The closed door. He says he was holding something that looked like a weapon and started closing the gate over the front door. At the moment, it's very difficult. Yeah, it's scary. I am the vacation here. The clerk is visiting his brother, who runs the corner store in West Philly's Belmont section. None of the customers wanted to go on camera, but all of them say the brothers are good people. Are you scared they're going to come back? Uh, yes, they defended my brother. The suspects wore all black and white gloves, one of them in a distinct life code jacket with the word progressive on the sleeve and a black backpack with a yellow square and stripe. Investigation, the people, criminal, is the folk, I see the, the camera. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the investigation, the criminal cars. As a safety measure, the supermarket is now closing two hours earlier at 6 p.m. If you have any information about this incident, Philly police say to reach out to them. Sheba and Jason. Jennifer, thank you. Scott